At the last election, the government said overall migration would come down. But as people arrive to do jobs in the NHS or to work in the care sector or to study, some Conservatives say more has to be done. They call themselves the new Conservatives and they say it's time for the country to make a choice. Cut immigration, keep our promise to voters and restore democratic, cultural and economic security or kick the can down the road, lose the next election and resign ourselves to a low growth, low wage, labour intensive service economy. You have a new Conservatives plan for cutting migration but there is a Conservative plan for cutting migration. It's the government plan. So you're turning around and saying that plan is not good enough. It's not very loyal, is it? We have said in no uncertain terms that we are loyal to the Prime Minister. We are loyal to the plan that's in place. We want to put forward other ideas, things that the party take into, into consideration. We are 12, 18 months away from an election. This is what MPs should be doing. What do we get paid for otherwise? Among the proposals the group is putting forward, closing temporary schemes for workers in the care sector. And that has alarmed some. If this proposal by th this group of very ill-informed MPs goes ahead, um, the, 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 the effect on the, the uh, sector would be devastating. The so-called new Conservatives say legal migration is a big issue on the doorstep and voters want it to come down. This is what we found. Too high. Why is that? I just think the country's overcrowded anyway. I generally do. So I just think it's too high. Tell me one British people wake up 5am and go to work. If people can come to the country legally and maybe fill up the jobs or do oh, small occupations that um, people are not willing to do, then we should just allow it. The government says it's getting the balance right between controlling immigration and filling gaps in the labour market. But now some on its own side are prepared to say, actually, it's getting the balance wrong. So, Andy, how much of a headache are these guys for the Prime Minister? Well, there's clearly a tension, Danny, between the people running the government, running the Conservative Party and the MPs we saw today. And it's really embodied in a man called Lee Anderson. He's a Conservative MP. He was due to be at the event today. He didn't come. We're told he was sick. He is also the deputy chair of the Conservative Party. And one MP who was there today said Lee Anderson would not have been able to endorse any particular policy or any specific policy today basically because he occupies that position. So that shows you the tension there is between a government which basically believes it is filling the gaps in the labour market in the way that is needed by bringing in people and these Conservative MPs, many of them from the north of England and the Midlands, who really want the government to go further. Andy, interesting times. Thank you very much.